This week, we are going to talk about CBA language, which applies to the recently announced flip of the Oakland domicile to a 100% ETOPS bid group, or EBG, and the addition of an EBG category to the Las Vegas domicile. Section 5A7 stipulates the rules that apply to the creation of an EBG within a domicile. These include how pilots will bid and be awarded EBG status, the minimum percentage of EBG pilots compared to the number of ETOPS first round hard and reserve lines, the ETOPS qualification requirement for all pilots in a domicile once the EBG reaches 60%, the timeline for training pilots entering the EBG, the types of pairings that ETOPS lines may include, the rule for awarding a pilot within the EBG a non-ETOPS line, and other miscellaneous info. Finally, neither the Oakland flip to a 100% EBG category nor the addition of an EBG to the Las Vegas domicile qualifies a pilot for the Section 10 paid move provisions, unless the pilot is displaced from another domicile. For example, this means that an Oakland-based pilot who is currently not in the EBG but subsequently moved into the EBG in accordance with Section 5A7B would not qualify for a paid move. But a Phoenix-based pilot displaced into the Oakland ETOPS domicile would qualify for a paid move. For more information about the ETOPS flip in Oakland and the new ETOPS bid group in Las Vegas, click on the links below or log on to swapa.org and click the front page tabs for the SWAPA number 196 bonus podcast and flipping out frequently asked questions.